everybody welcome back in this video i'm gonna introduce you the entity framework and the edu.net and exactly what is the entity framework so let's start suppose you want to create the database application or the database website to do that we have two main technologies the first one is edu.net and the next one is entity framework here i have two different diagrams the first one is edu.net and the next one is entity framework if you want to create the application this is my application first of all we need to design my application using the different controls on the Jolly studio then we have the edu.net technology that we can connect to the database and read the data or write the data and communicate with the database so the edu.net technology is a connector between the database and the application and we can execute different tasks against the database such as reading the data deleting updating and inserting the new records so the edu.net is the data provider or the connector between the application and the database the edu.net technology is really great technology that we need to create everything from a scratch and we need to control many different matters and things if we want to create the professional and enterprise application later microsoft introduced the new technology and it is the entity framework the entity framework is indeed a layer at the top of the edu.net technology and is not the dedicated or other technology it is a layer at the top of edu.net and the microsoft introduced this method why because by using the entity framework most of the common tasks for creating the database applications will be done automatically by the entity framework and we don't need to consider a lot of common tasks such as writing the select query update query or other SQL queries manually for creating a simple application so everything will be controlled automatically and will generate automatically by the entity framework and we only need to focus on creating the application not dealing with the database or its problems or shortcomings or other matters so if you want to create the database application from the scratch the edu.net is great and if you want to create the application quickly with a spending minimum time the entity framework technology is great for you for better understanding let's open up my paperless of a software Camisha. you can download the free version of it from camishasoft.com and if i come to the data entry and the incoming letters this is the data grid view in my form for loading the data and i can easily see my records over here and to come to this one in this form i can write the data edit insert and delete my records so each application has two main parts first the GUI or designing application then the codes behind it for saving and loading the data inside the SQL server or other databases and as I told you we can create this application by two methods first I can create this application with the edu.net technology then by using the entity framework and the entity framework is newer technology and we can create this application with the entity framework with minimum requirements and minimum knowledge of the SQL Server and very quickly. So this is the quick tour about the edu.net and the entity framework. In my upcoming tutorial, I'll talk more about these technologies and compare all of them. Then you can decide freely which one is better for you, the edu.net and the entity framework. Stay with me.